This video is about a cheap hooker. That's the one on the left. If you're looking for a video about the ones on the right, you're in the wrong place. Off. Thoughts on the hooker? Where can we improve it? What can we do? Need to find some way of... belt goes it's a tooth belt goes on there look there's the piston going up and down using a surface air breathing system is a form of diving you should be trained and competent to use it please seek advice from your local diving club and watch our previous hooker video that's where the belt goes it's a tooth belt goes on there look there's the piston going up and down you can hear that working what we've got to do is we've got to get that belt round there now I've not taken one of these apart before but I am assuming that we have to take the bottom end off somehow to get this past the crank because it, it physically wants to go over there. So it's either got to go on from this side, which I don't think it wants to do, or probably this side is better. But I'll have a play and see which way it is. I'll do all the work, you watch the video. Got the compressor out. This belt was a nightmare to get on, an absolute nightmare. I nearly gave up. But eventually we managed to seat it into the V's and then stretch it over the motor. But to get it past um, the crankshaft, I had to take the crankshaft out or off at the big end, slide the piston out. And to do that, um, I had to take the head off um, and the fan off and this bolt off of here. And then all of the hoses out and replace replace the whole lot back in again to rebuild it. What a nightmare. Um, apparently there are Stanley service centres. Let's see if I can get that in. There are Stanley um, service centres. but And whether they do that for you or just tell you that it's kaput, I don't know. But... You can see the tools that I've had to use. Um, if you do take this fan off, that bolt there is a left-hand thread. Um, and the reason it's a left-hand thread is because it turns clockwise um, and it would undo itself. So I snapped the bolt off. Didn't think that it might be a, a left-hand thread. I snapped it off. So I then had to drill it out. Um, and when I drilled it out, I then had to re-tap it with a right-hand thread and then lock tight the bolt back in again when I put a new one in. It was a monster. Hey-ho. Nearly done. So we've had the hooker out. And uh, we've cleaned the bottom. Well, we've cleaned the prop and the leg. Oh, hello, there goes the car four boat so they have a car for um, boat that comes in here once a day almost every day and it's um, what is it supermarket boat I guess you'd call it for all the uh, outlying islands around go check yeah so I went down for about half an hour um, cleaned all the prop up and uh, I've um, I've only just got the all clear from the doctor, so uh, I've had my blood test and my angiogram and my ECG and my whatever it was, and he said, "Yeah, you're all right. You're a proper terminator now." So um, yeah, I went down, 
with a, a wetsuit on. The water's about 24, nearly 25 degrees Celsius, so it's quite warm. We, uh, we've had to use some weights. Sin is in the water now. I'm going to hand a line which goes over her right shoulder. She's actually got a snorkel around the wrong way, but yeah. we're not going to worry about that. She's left handed. And then I'm going to feed her the line without any kinks in it, hopefully. And there she is gone under the So Cindy's underneath the boat at the moment using the hooker about one meter, one and a half meters of depth. Uh, the hooker's set to 10 bar. Of course the demand valve is only allowing her air at the uh, relevant ambient pressure. more than capable of keeping up. The average female uses about 26 litres per minute of air and this is easily keeping up. So one other thing I think we'll do is I think we need a swivel a swivel fit in so that allows this line to twist um, at this point here swivel fitting and then one at the demand valve um, just to allow those coils to come out so if you it's like paying out um, a line So like paying out line or paying out cable, you should always spool it out, not take it off the side of the drum, because you'll induce twist in it. And that's what we've done here, because we had to coil it up. So a swivel would have taken that out. But um, there we go. We've had the GoPro down. I just thought to say Cindy's just come out or just taken a weight belt off. Thoughts on the hooker? Where can we improve it? What can we do? Need to find some way of tying it to your suit because it just where the line floats it just goes up above your head all the time. So try to pull demand there right enough. So So you uh, need a harness to a harness or um a, strap. a, a velcro strap over yeah. your right shoulder. Yeah, something just to hold it onto you because it floats and as you go down it floats up. I was thinking that we need to have a swivel at yes. the um, demand valve end, so down here. Either a, a swivel on it with a strap holding it to your face. Yeah. What, like those... Do you remember, <laughs> do you remember Sully used to have one, didn't he? 
Yeah. Uh, we're talking about a guy called Ken Sullivan, and he was a fantastic um, dive photographer, one of one of the first divers in the UK, actually. Um, look him up. I'm sure he's on Google. Ken Sully used to have this. It was Ken, wasn't it, that had this thing that held his demand valve in his mouth? Um, it's only because the light, because the air hose floats. Yeah, thunder. Oh, a bit of thunder. It tries to lift it above your head all the yeah, time. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so the swivel, I think, will get rid of that. So a, a strap on the demand valve um, and on the line. <clears throat> but otherwise, breathing. Oh, breathing's fine. Okay then, darling. Well, there we are. The hooker is a success. So Cindy's now under David's boat. Cindy's now under David's boat and um, she's just cleaning out his drive leg as well. You see Andy's just untangling the, uh, the hose. Uh, the innuendo around here is terrible. Blowjobs, hookers. <laughs> Cindy, do you want to take the the tangle out that line, and Andy can have a go. Oh, well, yeah. Is that your job's done now, Sid? No, I still need to do more of the bottom. I'm back in now. So Andy's going to have a go, just to remind folks, both Cindy and I are trained instructors, certified, for open water divers. So you may have noticed that we've changed the filter on the hooker. We now have a filter and water separator. This works well. We got this from eBay. It was about nine euros, which is about 10 bucks, I guess. We're also going to order a couple of these universal swivels so they will rotate and swivel without leaking or losing pressure in the line. And we'll fit those at each end of the yellow scuba hose. Well, I hope this video has been useful for you. Don't forget to go back and watch our original hooker video first. And a lot of this will make more sense to you. Meanwhile, don't forget, sail safe and of course, dive safe. Bye for now.